Iran. Yes, <laughs> my parents, family got into trouble. Yes. My mother had to come here and, and as a political refugee. Not a dinghy, a proper political refugee. And uh, uh, then I came as a kid. Um, of course, in under 18, I was allowed to basically come. And people like my family, these type of, um, well, if you want to call them you know, migrants or refugees, when we came here, um, ended up in a council state. The proper integrated refugees and migrants who are here, including first wave, these are the people who are complaining more about the illegal migrants. White liberal lefties who tell me that, why are you complaining? So apart from the blatant promotion of alcohol, which contributes to massive mental and physical health problems and is a substance forbidden in Islam, there is so much wrong with this segment. Tulsi said his family came to the UK as refugees, as did he. So basically, he's an Irani immigrant born in Tehran, claiming to Farage that he's not as bad as those other immigrants. As you saw in the clip, Tulsi also had a pop at native white Brits who are liberal. Using the far right's logic, is that not overstepping the mark? As a guest in this country, because you weren't born here, are you allowed to disrespect indigenous British people just because they're leftists? Better call Tommy Robinson in jail, Tulsi, and check if it's okay for you to do that. And as you saw in the first clip I showed you where Tulsi spoke about Ali Dawa, he seems quite brave behind the screen, but he tends to fold in the presence of British Muslims that challenge him with common sense. Let's take a look at him attending Tommy Robinson's latest failed march and being humbled by a British-born Muslim brother from Luton. There we go. Actually, we can start drinking. So that's my uh, whiskey bottle. <laughs> <laughs> <Calling me Nazi. laughs> At least I'm now up the line between them. <laughs> oh, well, 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 Free society. But apparently we're not allowed that. Against their stop fascism. It's stop, it's stop attacking Jews stop and Christians and Muslims. Muslims why, why do you hate no, the Muslims? No, I don't, I don't hate Muslims. You do. Muslims. You no, spread no. so much to I have a problem with Islam, but not Muslims. I have a problem with Islam, but not Muslims. You just want to get on with their lives. You, you guys exactly. can blame games. The government needs to listen to them. Asian working class people. Yeah. Yeah. They have the same material concerns. Well, and my sister, no, no one's. No, I, no. Under I didn't do it. Why don't you spread the message of peace and unity? Why about not everybody talk against racism? We've seen a six hundred percent. If you, if you, if you can't, if you. When can't. people were writing, they were shouting Tommy Robinson. When they were writing, no one's punching Pakistani. Yeah. What happened in Hollywood? Should racism be a crime? Of course it's a crime. How is racism be a crime? I don't know. I'm from Lubin. No, but no, no. Who's doing Yassi Lennon? No, no, no. For the record, I'm from Lubin. Who's doing Yassi Lennon? So it's called Asia. He's got Muslim friends. Tell me how to stop it. We're from Lubin. Yeah, Lubin. Then he's going to go. Should I call him Yassi Lennon? Should I call him Yassi Lennon? Muslims are individuals, they have to leave them alone. Let's bring it to the right, let's bring it to the right. Why are you hanging away? You know, during the summer, I know Muslim women that had their heads cast ripped off, minding their own business. Well, I didn't support their rights. I know Muslim women that were locked up, right? In their homes, they were terrified. They were having panic attacks, they're locking up their shops. People in Merseyside getting beaten up on the streets. Why aren't people like yourself condemning that openly? Violence is wrong. Side, they were these guys uh, on your side. They're white, they're white middle class champagne socialists who don't even like pay their own taxes, but they say we care about the poor. They're on your side. They were the ones who pushed me out, like fascists, like a bunch of fascists. Tommy Robinson says, "Yeah, come to Luton and you never see a brown person or a white person." This is my boy Glenn Jenkins from Marsh Farm Estate. I'm from Luton, from very good. We always get on. With each other. That's nice. Good. We live with each other all our lives. If you're a little anxious about investing and you're looking for a simple way to handle your investments at the touch of your fingertips,
Good. We always get on with each other. That's nice. We live with each other all our lives. Apart from the irony of Tulsi's half-drunk live streams where he acts as if he's in danger when walking past passive leftists whilst being surrounded by his personal security and the police, it is also ironic how he, a brown immigrant man from Iran, is scamming British natives into thinking they're being invaded and taken over. As a fellow brown person, I have to say, hats off to you, Tulsi. You sure got them fooled. However, as a British-born person, I don't approve of these underhanded tactics. As you saw, while Tulsi pretended to survive a near-death experience while strolling past harmless leftists, an educated brother stepped to him to ask why he hates Muslims. To which Tulsi responded, I don't hate Muslims, I have a problem with Islam. This is actually a response coined by his hero Tommy Robinson, which is a buffer phrase used whenever he is questioned about the anti-Muslim views he holds. Throughout this video, I have given examples of Tulsi saying less than complimentary things about Muslims, and that's just scratching the surface. There's plenty more online. The brother was right when he said to Tulsi that Muslims just want to get on with their lives, and that minorities have the same concerns as non-minorities in Britain. And when the brother spoke about his mum and sister having black oil poured on their headscarves and having their hijabs ripped off their heads during the 2024 UK riots, all Tulsi had to say was, I didn't do it. But the fact remains that you, Tulsi, constantly put out Islamophobic content that fuels this type of anti-Muslim discrimination, and hence you are complicit in this. The brother also made great points when he said Islamophobia has risen by 600% recently and that Tulsi should be speaking against prejudice rather than fueling it. The brother also made the claim that Toby Robinson is a grifter that is selling illicit substances for Pakistanis and Luton, which wouldn't surprise me. I must also add, any person doing such illegal acts is not representing Islam in any capacity. Bro also debunked Tommy's recent claim the white and Muslim communities were not integrated in Luton by showing solidarity with his friend who happened to be white British, as well as stating the fact that it's Muslims that are looking out for the elderly British people in Luton, something Tommy has never done. He also made the point that Muslims told their kids to stay off the streets while the riots were happening, whereas on the other hand, the rioters took their kids out with them to take part. As a Muslim woman in the UK, I can confirm the claim that the brother made about the hijabi sisters being targeted and Muslim women being intimidated to leave their homes because of the summer riots. Even to this day, I still feel a little paranoid going out whilst being visibly Muslim. Tulsi responded with violence is wrong and though I agree, that doesn't change the fact that he indirectly instigates it through the views he propagates online. And Tulsi's insincerity became even more apparent when he denied the brother's claim that a Pakistani Muslim man was punched in the face and heartily pulled during the riots by thugs chanting Tommy Robinson's name. I saw the video clip with my own eyes. I can't include it in this video for censorship reasons, but you can look it up on X and see for yourself. Tulsi and many others like him are token people of colour. They're not about justice, they're about pandering to the side with more power for a pat on the back, or for clout or financial gain.